Over the years, we've seen many YouTubers take their shot at launching their very own product. From the success of Logan Paul and KSI's Prime, all the way to Mr. Beast's Feastables Chocolate, we've practically seen it all. But do these products actually live up to the hype? Today, I'll be testing some of the biggest YouTubers products and placing them on a tier list from S being the best, all the way down to F being the worst. I will be rating the products based on three things, branding, quality, and longevity. Let's get started. Starting with Mr. Mr. Beast Burger. We got the entire menu right here. Let's just dig in. Starting off with the actual branding of Mr. Beast Burger, it's super eye-catching, very clean. It has the logo there, 10 out of 10. It's beautiful. I think we gotta start with the man himself. Let's see if it tastes good. Okay, so we got a double cheeseburger right here. It looks pretty good. Got some ketchup, mustard, cheese, pickles, all of that. So here we go, let's get a good bite. Okay, it does have a unique taste. I think that's pretty solid. Next up, we got the Chris style burger. Ooh, got some fries in there. There's bacon, fries, cheese, and meat. That's pretty good. Again, a lot of flavor. Sometimes when I get in and out, I put my fries in my burger, so this was definitely a good call. Next up, Carl's Deluxe. Oh, is this sourdough bread? Oh my gosh, that's already a dub. Definitely a lot of cheese, caramelized onions, and meat. Let's give it a go. This is my favorite one so far. Okay guys, I was wrong. I just looked at the menu. This is actually not sourdough. It tasted like it, but it's a toasted inverted bun. It kind of tastes like sourdough. I kind of already tried the fries, so let's give it a go. I think these are really good if you're already a fan of crinkle cut fries, but I'm usually a fan of just regular fries, like from In-N-Out. Let's go with the Beast style fries. So the sauces on here are mayo, ketchup, and mustard. Obviously there's fries plus pickles. Give it a good mix. I feel like there's about to be a really flavorful bite. Here we go. That's actually really good. It didn't look appealing at first, but after trying it, it was actually good. I had no idea they had a grilled cheese on their menu, but I'm a huge fan of them, so this is Carl's choice. Wow, W Carl, man. Okay, so we got the inverted toasted bun again. Oh, look at that cheese pull right there. Oh, now you can see the inverted bun. Here we go. It's hard to mess up a grilled cheese, so this is really solid. Last but not least, we have the Chandler Burger, my Middle Eastern brother from another mother. This is a plain cheeseburger, and I always used to get my burgers plain from In-N-Out, double-double, so yeah, there's two patties, so let's give it a shot. I think I have a really good feel for Mr. Beast Burger and where it's gonna go on that tier list. All right, guys, it's time for the rating. He absolutely killed it with Mr. Beast Burger. I think it tasted really good. The quality was fire. Branding, longevity of it. We're slapping it on the S tier. Got the first S tier of the video. Next product we have is David Dobrik's perfume called David's Perfume Number no. One. This scent is amber and cashmere. I think he has two other scents, but they didn't come in on time, so at least we got this. Okay, this looks like a solid cologne bottle. These are the three that I use. Depending on the day, I use a different one, however I feel. Mojave Ghost, Sauvage Dior, and Creed. Ooh. Off the bat, smells good. So it has a magnetic cap, which is top tier already. Let's go for the spray. And one thing I learned too, if you spray your arm with cologne like this, if you do this, it actually doesn't make the smell last longer. It makes it last less than usual. You have to kind of pat your arm like that. That's strong. That's actually not bad. It smells like you put on like a brand new cashmere sweater. All right, David's perfume. It smells pretty good. I don't know if it's classified as S tier, but I think I would add it to my collection of colognes. I'm gonna run an A. What do you think, Noah? I think it's decent. I don't know it if it's an everyday good. for me, but. Yeah, it's not everyday. It's like kind of in that cycle. Like yeah. maybe once a week type vibes. I'm trying to explain exactly how it smells. And I would say like when you get like a brand new couch. Yeah, like You know what I mean? Like soft. It smells good. It doesn't smell bad. And now onto his newest and biggest product, Dobrik's P. Pizza. This is very new. I think this launched about two months ago and he actually launched a store on Sunset Sadly, we weren't able to go but every time you order a pizza you get Dobrik's coin and there's two uses for it One you could put it into the wall and it activates a pizza party and it starts playing music You could start dancing or you could trade it in for a free scoop of ice cream So already just hearing that I'm tied in. I love the branding of it I love the text that they used for Dobrik's very pizza vibes if that makes any sense. It's time for the actual pizza Ooh, deep dish. You already know I had to stick with the classic pepperoni, so let's give it a shot. I feel like I'm gonna be eating a lot in this video, and I'm happy. Two things I need to consider before eating this. One, I just got back from Italy. I just had Italian pizza, authentic, straight out of Italy, so it's gonna be really, really hard to judge this. I'm sorry, David. And two, this came from LA, so we just heated it up in the oven, so it's not super fresh, but straight out of the oven. Bro. 
So not only am I enjoying this pizza, I'm getting a hint of the perfume. <laughs> and I'm not complaining, but this is good. I like this. The crust looks very, very crispy. That tastes like a breadstick. I think I got my rating ready. All right, we're taking Dobrik's pizza and we're throwing it in S tier. I think overall it was amazing. Branding, quality. I think it's here to stay. They only have one location now, but that's just the startup. I could see this going all around the entire US. S tier for me. Next up, we have the Team RAR Money Gun. The branding is sick. You see the Team RAR logo right there. By the looks of it, I'm hoping it's gold. Make it rain with a backwards R. It says Rara Avi. I don't know what that means, so I'm gonna look it up. Another term for rare bird. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh it is gold. Yo, hold up. Team Raw might have did some. The packaging is really nice. It has suede material and it has instructions on how to set it up. I don't wow. Think it came with any bills though. Oh, it did. Is it Team Raw bills? <laughs> it is oh. Team Raw bills. How do you know? <laughs> so let's see how it actually works. Hey. Yo, that's sick. Oh wait, it jammed. Hold up. Oh shoot, oh no, yeah baby! I think this is a really, really cool product. I don't know what I'm gonna rate it though. I don't think it's an S, and I also don't think it's an A because you have to put it in perspective. If you don't watch Team Raw or don't know them, would a consumer wanna buy something like that? Does it appeal to an audience bigger than Team Raw? I think though that they're just trying to have this for their fans. Like yeah. if you're a Team Raw fan and they come out with a money gun, you're great. gonna wanna buy it. You're gonna wanna buy them. I think that's really smart. I'm thinking on the longevity overall, part of it overall. Yeah. It's not an S or an A, but I'm gonna throw it at at B. I love everyone at Team R, by the way. Those are the homies, but I gotta give my honest review here. Next product we have is Ryan's World from Ryan's Toy Review. It's gonna be hard for me to review this because I'm not a kid. And this is for little kids, so I have a little kid here. Noah, hi. <laughs> you know who Ryan's Toy Review is? Do you like him? Yeah. Branding is sick. Look at this. To unlock the suitcase, I think you have to put in Ryan's name. You got something for me? Yeah, I got something for you from Ryan. All right, here we go. Oh! Oh, press the button. Okay, yo, that's kind of dope. It's kind of like a puzzle. So let's see if it tells you how to open it. Your mission, open the case. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, comes with this paper to help you unlock the suitcase. Oh, look at that. We have to open these, okay? Package. The package, you're right. Should I open it? Yeah. Let's see what it could be. Is that the man himself? Yeah. Ryan? Yeah. Wait, it came with a little thing too. Oh, what? <gasps> it's a ray gun. Pew, pew, pew. That's for you. Guys, there's a top secret compartment and he just got to put the key in there. Oh, open it. What's in there? What's in there? Oh. A nice package. Some goggles. Okay, I'll open the other one. I'll open the other one. Oh. <laughs> oh, one more. One more. Oh, this one might scare you. Oh, my God. Do you want it? Yeah. All in all, I think this toy is pretty cool because it's a interactive with your kid. You guys can work together to solve the puzzle and it comes with a lot of toys. As you can see, he's entertained by it. Do you like this? Yeah. You think it's a cool product? Yeah. Would you buy this? Yeah. Are you just saying yeah? Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, we have the toy review, Phase Rug reviewing Ryan's toy review toy and Noah. From my perspective, I thought the branding was sick. It was a cool game. It comes in like a little secret spy briefcase. You have to decipher some codes. You think it's S, A, B, C, D, or F? S. All right, we got an S tier. You heard it here from the kid himself. Good job. Next up, we have Jojo Siwa cereal. I will be the judge of that because I'm a cereal fanatic. I've said it so many times. I used to live on cereal growing up. Strawberry Bop is the flavor. Wait, that's crazy. She had beef with the baby, and the there's baby. a song called Bop. There's no way they named it that because of the baby. Like throw but shade. Come on, like she is a marketing genius. She literally sold over 40 million bows in one year, and the retail on that was ten dollars. Forty million, ten dollars. I think that's $400 million. Branding wise, I mean, this is definitely an eye catcher. If you're at the grocery store and you see something pink. And Jojo Siwa's brand is all pink. She gives Disney Channel vibes, so I do think releasing a cereal is up her alley. Oh, I'm so excited to try this, bro. You don't understand. Whoa. There's a cereal that I used to eat that was pink, and it tasted fire. And I hope it tastes like that. Frankenberries. This has marshmallows. Oh, it might taste like it. 12 grams of sugar. Look at the added, 24%. Ooh. Well, let's compare that to another cereal, you okay, know? yeah, yeah. So we got another marshmallow cereal here. This has 18 grams of added sugars, and it's 36% daily value. And JoJo's is 12 grams of sugars and 24%. So I think it's on like the healthier side. That's good. 
Just looks so good in a white bowl. And not to mention her box has an interactive game you could do. You take a piece of paper and trace my bow. Then design your own fab new look. Okay, here we go, here we go. Ah! After all the burgers, the pizza I had, this is a great dessert for me. Bro, don't do this to me. This is good. To the board. Jojo Siwa cereal. Tastes delicious. I think the branding was cool. She's a good person. But I'm throwing this under the A tier because if we're thinking longevity wise, I think cereals come and go. And I don't see that lasting as a forever cereal that you'll see. You know what I mean? Like you can see Fruit Loops, see Cocoa Pebbles, all these long lasting cereals. But I don't know if Jojo Siwa's would be in for the long run. I think it's an A tier. Next product we have. Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio's ring light. I think this is very, very on brand. Obviously, they blew up from TikTok, so this was definitely a good idea. I think this is older, though, because to my knowledge, I don't think they're posting a lot on TikTok. I think they've really expanded and started doing a lot of bigger things because of TikTok. It's a cool product to have to look back at to stick to their roots, you know, because that's how they blew up. So the branding side of it could have been a little bit more creative because it's just a picture of them. So I think they're trying to just sell it with their face rather than if you don't know who they are would you buy a regular ring light or one that has them on it let's just open it up and see how it looks okay it's a smaller one probably something that like you put on your desk no way it's that small it says perfect for vlogging and live streaming yeah, i feel like this could be like for like tiktok lives or something i don't know yeah there's like tiktok lives where you set it on the desk but probably not like actually setting it up as like a big ring light you know what i mean you would think that's what it's for yeah the quality of it you could tell isn't the best you could kind of like bend, bend it. it. Yeah. Oh. We got the phone in. I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit complicated to do, but this is what it looks like. Not a horrible setup, but if you like try to like tilt your phone, it just like, doesn't support it. Yeah, kind of like you see it coming out a little bit. It did chip off a piece from the phone case. It's just not like stable. Let's plug it in and see how this bad boy works. Okay, that's pretty bright. It has RGB, but the only thing again, my phone just moves and look how it like is almost coming out. You see it? Yeah. I mean, that part's pretty cool, but dang, it has so many different colors. I know what. <laughs> I think I'm ready for the rating. I'm gonna rate this at a C. It does what it needs to do. The light is bright. You can definitely make it work. Good for TikToks, good for on the go stuff, but I do think the quality wasn't the best and the branding of it could have been a lot more creative. So Charlie and Dixie, I love you, but I'm putting your product at a C. Next product we have is from Dude Perfect, the masters of trick shotting, which is why this this collab makes sense. They collab with Nerf to come out with the perfect toss Airtails. What do you think of the branding? Honestly, I like it. This would catch my eye real quick. Especially seeing Dude Perfect on there. Let's open this bad boy up. So it comes with two and two for each team. So these ones already come together. I think you put oh, it like right. this. So it's a two player game. Take 10 paces back and play one round. Take another 10 paces back and play another round. See how far you can step and still hit the targets. Player with the highest score wins. Seven, eight, nine, 10. It's raining. All right, let's see it. Oh! oh! You made it in the red. Oh, still in your technique. Oh. I think we got a good feel for it. Dude, it's raining so go. hard. Oh, Probably not the best time to play this game. We moved the game inside. So we already did the one where we took 10 steps back. Now we got to take another 10 steps back. So we got to take 20 steps back. Good job! Yay! 18, 19, 20. That's a crazy distance. You go first. Okay. This is why it relates to Dude Perfect so much. It's literally like a trick shot. Oh, one critique I have about the game is like every time you hit this and it goes out, it moves the circles. Did you get a good feel for the game? Yeah, I think I can rate it now. So I think the branding was cool. The collab of Nerf and Dude Perfect makes a lot of sense. I think the quality of the game, I don't know if it's something that I personally would enjoy, especially because the rings move if you hit them. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I just think it could have been a lot better for a Dude Perfect product. I agree. Especially that's with Nerf. I feel like they could have like added that one thing to make it perfect, you know? Exactly. Dude Perfect. <laughs> Oh. Ah! I'm thinking it's either a B or a C. I'll go with C. I agree, bro. Next up, we have the Charlie, aka Charlie D'Amelio's Coffee with Dunkin' Donuts. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I've had this in the past and I think it's delicious. I'm gonna give it a shot for this video as well. It is a cold brew with cold foam, caramel, and cinnamon. All right, here we go. This hits. I definitely made up for the ring light. You can see the cold foam start melting into the coffee, making it even sweeter. 
All right, got a good feel for it. I think this is a perfect collab. Charlie drinks a lot of coffee. She used to promote Duncan all the time on her TikTok. They made a flavor together. It's actually good. Longevity wise, I think this has already been on the menu for over a year now. So I think it definitely has potential to stay long term. So I'm going S tier for the coffee. Next product we have is called Good Sport, and this was created by Danny Duncan. I think the idea he had behind this is for people to stay active. So I think the message and intention behind it is really cool. Yeah, I respect that because I feel like being outdoors now compared to years ago when we were younger, I feel like I never see kids outdoors anymore. Right? Everyone's like glued to their video games, iPads, iPhones, yeah. doing all that. Let's play because this is Backyard Pong. Woo! Listen, we're actually gonna play this indoor because it's raining outside. What do you think about the branding of it? I like how it looks. I just feel like it's too plain to notice what's going on. You see too much cardboard, you know? No, I know what you mean. I think they could have like covered the cardboard for yeah. sure. Oh, dang. This yeah, is cool. okay, hold up. So I think my only critique so far is I wish the balls either came pumped or it came with a mini pump because what if you buy it, go straight to the park? Which then... people probably do. Like, oh, I got this from outdoors and they think it's ready, but yeah, it's not. Let's play. All right, we have to relocate outside because we have to put water water in them. It was going to be a mess. And it's going to be a mess. Let's go, baby. Oh. Come on, please make one. Let me just show you how it's done. Oh, shit. Ow. I said, <laughs> wait, Paul's back. Easy. Easy. Hey. Hey. And the same one. Let's see. In the oh, same one! Oh, is that That's two. Balls back? Balls back and two cups. Come on, bro. Hey! Let's go check out what other games he has. Next up, we have Smashnet. And the branding on this does look a lot more appealing than the first one. It says, my daddy made this with his bare hands. Thank you, daddy. Thank you, daddy. Let's see how simple it is to put together. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Oh, it comes with a pump. Oh, oh my pump. God. We're gonna set this up real quick. We'll see you soon. Here we have it, and it actually looks pretty sick. No, this is dope. It's pretty much like volleyball and spike ball together. Should we run twos? Please. Uh, no, no, baby, let's get it. Hit on your side. You can tap it up to three times to each other. Okay. Team up to three. Yeah. Yep. There we go. Oh! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> This is solid. I actually really like this. For his last product, we have Bubble Bash. We didn't really read the website, but we only bought one. This is it right here. Someone hit me. I'm good, bro. Oh! Does <laughs> it protect me, though? Let me try the ball. Oh! Did it help? Yeah, dude. I didn't get hurt. Oh! <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> there you go. Was it sick? That's fun. All right, I think we got a good feel for good sport. Let's head to the tier list. This is very on brand with Danny Duncan. Promotes being healthy, which is always good. And the games are actually fun. I really, really enjoyed Smashnet. I'm looking forward to playing Smashnet another time. Yeah, for sure. We're gonna use it. I think this is an A tier. It hasn't been out for a long time. And I think it has potential and trajectory to go up to an S tier for me. I think it just needs to be out longer, see the marketing, see if they come out with new products and see how to keep it alive in the long run. 100%, you know? like how consistent they can keep it. Exactly, and I think it's a cool name because it's not like Danny Duncan's name on it. This is yeah. something that he's trying to scale, have anyone in the world buy, not knowing who he is. All right, next up we have Prime. I think everyone knows what Prime is by now. It's a hydration drink started by Logan Paul and KSI. This thing is huge. One of the biggest influencer products of all time. So we're gonna start with branding. Obviously, it's super clean. I mean, this is very appealing if you're walking in a grocery store. I think this will definitely catch my eye. So I've actually tried every single flavor you see. So I'll kind of go through them quick. All in all, my favorite is this one, the Tropical Punch. Let's give it a try. Fire. On top of it, guys, two grams of sugar. It's good for you. Meta Moon. I've actually heard a lot of mixed opinions about this. I think it's like a berry flavor. See, me personally, I like this. No, you were saying it was like, It's not my favorite okay. flavor. Yeah, it's not my favorite. It tastes like um the berry pack of Welsh fruit snacks. That's a great comparison. Mm -hmm. I'm usually a grape guy. I love grape everything. But this one right here doesn't taste like your average grape flavor. It's still not bad, but this wouldn't be my personal preference. Blue raspberry. Actually debatable if this is my favorite one. I changed my mind. This is my favorite over Tropical Punch. Lemon lime. Okay, that's good. This tastes like yellow Gatorade. Last but not least, 
Purple and orange are my least favorite. Makes sense because they're sun's colors. Just kidding, I don't hate the suns. But I think, guys, it's very obvious where Prime is going. Branding, on point. Longevity, it's going up like crazy every single day. And quality of it, it's really good. This is clearly an S tier product. On the topic of Prime, they just came out with Prime Energy. They sent this to me like two weeks ago, and I didn't try it because I wanted to save it for this video. The packaging on this is super clean. It literally looks like you're grabbing a pack of soda, beers, all that. It has 200 milligrams of caffeine, zero sugar, 300 milligrams of electrolytes, and it's vegan. First flavor is strawberry watermelon. This is clean, That's bro. Really cool. Now it's about the taste test. Strawberry watermelon, come on. Yeah, that's actually pretty solid. No, you try it. It tastes like a, a competitor, Alani. Oh. That one tastes a lot like Alani. Dude, okay, well, let's try the green one. This one is lemon lime. Cosmo and Wanda, bro. Oh, they did that on purpose. It's pretty good, too. I prefer the strawberry watermelon, but lemon lime's good as well. I got my rating. Okay, Prime Energy. A tier. Once again, it's fairly new. We haven't really seen how the public reacts to it yet, what they're gonna do with it, but overall, it was still super good. Next product, Chug Rug. Listen, I'm not biased, I promise. You're on the can, my guy. I know, I actually am on the can. <laughs> Guys, so I've had this energy drink for probably the past three years, and Noah, what do I do before every video? You down one of those. Come on, guys, I actually drink this. I don't just promote it because I have to. This right here is one, a dream collab that I've done for a brand that I've actually been using since I started gaming. And they gave me my own flavor, which is one of the top sellers out of so many different flavors. So I'm very, very proud of this. I think they killed it with the branding. It has zero sugar and it gives you a good boost of energy. All right, enough talking about it. You guys already know I love this thing. So, oh, 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 this is cool. You want that to happen. It's great. I mean, it's a chug rug. I wonder what my rating is going to be. <laughs> guys, it's very clear where this is going. It is an F tier product. Just had to do it. It's just a prank, bro. I'm not just saying this because it's my product. I promise you it's an S tier. Guys, I felt like it was time to come out with another product. I cannot say the name of it. I can't say what it is, but all I'm saying is I'm so excited. It's literally gonna crush it. I know it. This is something that I personally love so much. It genuinely makes sense why I would start up this brand. I wish it was out already so I could have it in this video, but I'm gonna show you guys it. It's gonna be blurred. I mean, it would be cool to see if you guys had any guesses in the comment section down below what I'm coming out with. Probably gonna come out early 2023. Damn, that's fire. All right, ready? That's all you guys get. Oh yeah, and it's S tier, guaranteed. We got Chamberlain Coffee. I've never tried this, so I'm excited to give it a first taste test here in this video. Packaging wise, this is very Emma. There's five different flavors, two of each. Early Bird Blend, Careless Cat Blend, Social Dog Blend, Night Owl Blend, and Family Blend. I'm going for the Night Owl. Dude, that's actually clean. This is very interesting, guys. This actually comes in a tea bag. The way you make it is you put hot water in a cup and you let the tea bag in there, coffee bag, coffee bag in there, for five minutes, enjoy. So eight ounces of water, and I got this mug specifically for you guys. Got the cup of hot water. Look at that. Has the Chamberlain Coffee logo. Dip it in there. That's so crazy. Right? Look, it's it's already changing colors. Let it sit five minutes, stir, and we'll enjoy. Coffee looks like it's done. I feel like this is a bit of a cleaner way of making coffee. Wait, you're not gonna add cream, are you? I am. I don't, no, I don't drink black coffee, straight, bro. bro. Okay, I'll drink it straight, but then I can't judge it off that. because. No, like, yeah, do both, do both. Okay, here we go. Bro, <laughs> chill out, chill out. That's actually really good. A nice cup of Joe at night through Emma Chamberlain. Yo, this is me if we were on Disney Channel and we had to transition. To the board! Hey, viewers out there watching, <laughs> we are now placing this on the tier list. You know where this is going? S. Need I say more? Branding's on point, fits Emma Chamberlain. You're never gonna find coffee in a tea bag, and it was actually good. So, branding, quality, and longevity, I think this is here to stay for a long time. Addison Ray, because I need a bad bleed. Ooh. All right, guys, so Addison Ray came out with her own doll. It says, try me. Oh my God. Hold on. That's a crazy song. Hold up. <laughs> you have to do TikTok dances. All right, it's the deluxe music doll. The thing is, I don't want to rate this. Or I don't know if I can because I don't play with Barbie dolls. What do you mean you don't? Like, bro, I play with them all the time. You want to rate this product then? I would love to, bro. You don't, I'm so confused. Like you just don't play with dolls? This is S tier off the bat. Whoa, right? whoa, chill, Wait. chill. It's actually cool, it comes with accessories. There's like a, a ring light. It's Dixie's uh, ring light. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does this look good? 
Wait, there's more. If you didn't have enough ring lights in the first set, you can go to this set. We're gonna make TikToks right now. We have studio lights. Oh my god, it's a set, bro. We're going on another trip. It's a green screen. We got a wardrobe closet. The ring light. That was Charlie's. This is Dixie's. <laughs> Hold on, let me set it up. Hold on. You're so dumb. Hey yo, you see that? I think we got a good feel for her products. Addison Ray. I think the idea behind it was really good. I honestly don't think this has potential to compete with you know the higher end dolls like Barbie. You want to be in good competition with all the top brands, so I don't think this is something that has longevity in it. I mean, we're also not six years old, so like it's hard for us to judge, but maybe your kids might like this. I think it is a B. Would you agree? I agree. We got Airax brand new product called Pizza Fi. I've actually tried this and it's crazy. You put this sauce on any food you want and it tastes like pizza. It's the craziest thing and the name is really cool because if you're talking about it, you could say, hey, I'm gonna Pizza Fi these hot Cheetos or Pizza Fi the Oreos. So they definitely killed it on that aspect along with the branding. I think it's very appealing. So 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Now quality, I've never Pizza fi hot Cheetos. So let's see if I could turn this regular hot Cheetos into pizza. Ooh. <laughs> no, that's crazy. Now it's spicy pizza. Please, can you try this? Mm -hmm. no, it's actually so good. I don't know about an Oreo. There's no way that this would actually taste like pizza. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> don't do it with an Oreo. <laughs> it tasted like a pizza at first, and then once you keep chewing, it turns back into an Oreo. My favorite thing that I do with this is uh, chicken nuggets. It's like a sauce that you dip it in. That would have been a good call, but I have a baguette, and this right here should instantly make this taste like pizza. Here we go. Oh my God, bro. Insta pizza. All right, guys, Pizza Fi is an S tier for me. Once again, killed it with branding, killed it with the name. It tastes awesome. The concept is creative. And this is definitely something you see people buying that don't even know who Eric is, which is the whole objective of making these products. For the last and final product, we have Mr. Beast's Beastables. I've had all of these, they're good. The branding absolutely killed it once again. Eye catching, five different flavors. I think the branding was a killer. We've got milk chocolate, original chocolate, all Almond chocolate, quinoa crunch chocolate, and chocolate sea salt. We're gonna start with classic milk chocolate. It says devour on the bottom. It's good. And it's a healthier chocolate than any other chocolate out there, so that's a W. Original chocolate. Definitely a bigger fan of milk chocolate, but this is still good. Almond chocolate. Solid, solid. Chocolate sea salt. Bro, that's good. Insane. Quinoa, looks like crunch. Mm. Everything was good. It would be wrong of me to not put this under S tier. This is the official tier list of all the influencer products that I bought. I want you right now in the comment section down below. Comment if you guys agree with this tier list or if you guys would switch things up. I'm really curious. I'm going to be reading a lot of the comments, but nonetheless, all these YouTubers, influencers are being very smart by trying to expand their brand, get their name out there, scale up a business because that's super huge and you never know if YouTube's going to last forever or TikTok's going to last forever. So so very, very smart to do stuff like this. That is the end of the video, guys. Make sure you are subscribed. You guys are all killing it with the support. I appreciate it so much. And I'll see you all with the next video. Peace.